This is Largo. She, she's an old friend of ours. She was bought by the current owners late late in 2020 and a change in circumstances for the couple have meant uh, she's back on the market. But she's in such lovely condition still as she was then. Uh, she probably improved in some respects, I must say. She's uh, 70 foot long. She's a semi-trad. She was built in 2004 by Paul Widdison and fitted up by John Mills. She had a fresh repaint, a complete repaint in June last year, so less than a year ago at Stowhill Workshop. She was blacked at the same time, so she was blacked in 2019 and again in June 2020. So that's good for some time. Some solar power on the roof there you might have seen, 200 watts of solar power with an MPPT controller. The cratch cover itself there was new in 2017 and the tonneau's in very good condition as well for the back deck. Gas bottles in the forward locker there, lovely Joshua style bows. And the well deck's five feet long, so good space with comfy seats all around. Storage under the left and the right. That porthole, by the way, was recovered by the previous owner from a sunken vessel from World War II. He got it himself off the bottom of the sea. And this is an old handle from a submarine. One of the handles to open the doors. So a bit of a naval theme going on here. The guts for the bow thruster under that forward bench. The bow thruster is a 80 kgf 24 volt system. The tube was new in 2019 and the batteries were new in 2021. Went to the saloon, 11 feet 10 inches long, so very good space. Wooden laminate floor in here, a couple of super comfy armchairs, footstool, wallpaper to the cabin sides. An oak face plywood with hardwood trim below. A couple of cupboards here and shelves. That television is a 26 inch Panasonic and there's also a Denon CD radio. The stove there is a multi fuel stove, it's a Villager Duo. New double skin chimney in December 2016 for that. And there's the view down the room. Very good space in here, very light. Head height on the boat is 6 foot 6. And lighting is LED throughout. Then go into the galley, it's a walk through galley. Nine feet ten inches long, so generously proportioned again. The work tops are a marble effect laminate. <clears throat> Very well equipped in here, lots of storage. There's the bin. No reason to buy a boat for the bin, but it's quite practically attached to the inside of that door. The sinks in this worktop and there's cupboards above. The current owners have been living on board her actually for since January, I think, so she's tried and tested. There's a Houdini hatch in the ceiling over the galley, so that adds light and air. The oven itself is a Stowe's 500 DIT 4 gas burner hob oven and grill. The fridge is a 12 volt shoreline, there is an ice box in there. So oodles are going to put things and here's one of the pull out larder cupboards. Very practical, lots of room in there. And here's a sort of utility room. I love this room. The washing machine's in there. It's an Zanussi Aqua Cycle 1300. There's an 800 watt microwave and just lots of shelving. It's really, really good room, that. The floor in here are granite tiles. And this is the bit I love about this room. It's the, the dining room. The dinette turns into a spare double berth. It's a beautiful table. Not sure what the wood is, it looks like walnut, but I might be wrong. So it turns into a spare bedroom, dining room. You don't need an office, you'll see that as we go through. And it's six feet two inches long. The bathroom is a walkthrough arrangement. The loo itself is a ceramic cassette loo, spare cassette on board. Tiled floor in here. Ceramic basin, the shower is a tiled cubicle with a glass door. Some sort of storage shelves next to the shower there. 
six foot five inches long the bathroom this is the main bedroom the bed itself is six foot four inches long four feet wide storage under some shelves over the head of the bed there opening portholes in here and behind here is a really useful walk-in wardrobe there's much storage on this boat there are many houses to be honest lots of storage under there and then at the foot of the bed it's fabulous this room it's an office Six feet ten inches long, so plenty of space, lots of shelving, storage under the unit at the bottom there. Really practical room. You could turn it into a spare bunk room, actually, it's long enough. And then we go to the semi trad stern deck. The engine is a cocooned beta 50 horsepower, very powerful. Super quiet when the engine's running under that cocoon. Batteries are in here six two volt full traction batteries lovely social space on the back deck here storage under the seats of course and that's a view from the helmsman's position a couple of taff seats on the back deck nice boat to handle this actually as well, the bow thrust is obviously useful. Nice glazed back door as well, makes it a bit lighter in the stern. The water tank on board stainless steel, 364 litres. It's got central heating on board, the four radiators, they're heated by a Webasto diesel, uh, diesel fired central heating system. That was brand new in 2014. And hot water is heated by the engine, the Webasto, or there's also an immersion heater on board. I haven't mentioned the generator. There's a travel power generator, 3.5 kilowatt. There's an inverter on board, 1600 watt Victron pure sine wave. So 230 volts is no problem. There's a galvanic isolator, and there's a 4G Wi Fi antenna as well. She's super equipped, this boat. Really lovely. That's Largo. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to the website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.